Sounds like it. Okay. Consider the image of a galaxy. I'm sure you've all seen some of the beautiful Hubble images. These in the diagram are schematic and not quite as spectacular. Um, <coughs> in any case, the objective of my thesis is to de develop methods from a computer vision perspective that can reconstruct the three-dimensional structure of a galaxy from telescope images. Now, one difference between images of galaxies and other sorts of images that you see is that you can't go around to the other side of the object to get a different view. Millions of light years is a little far to go for one picture. The, another difference is that the galaxy is transparent and rather than light reflecting off a surface, the light is being emitted by stars in the galaxy's volume. So the light that reaches a pixel in the telescope sensor is actually the sum of the light from the line of sight to that pixel through the galaxy. Uh, this process is called projection and it's illustrated in these diagrams. <coughs> now dust in the galaxy can block some of the light. Uh, this violates the assumption of transparency and uh, as an approximation we ignore the dust, sweep it under the rug so to speak. And because this it's a reasonable approximation and leads to very elegant mathematical results. So our, like I said, our objective is to disentangle the three-dimensional structure from these two-dimensional images. And of course, this diagram is done one dimension smaller in each case. This, as you can see by comparing these two originals, which generate the same image, this is not possible exactly in all cases. Uh, in this case, if we assumed that they had to be circularly symmetric, then we could do it. It would eliminate the ambiguity. In three dimensions, uh, we can significantly improve its performance by making reasonable symmetry assumptions, but we can't always entirely eliminate the ambiguity. So the way that we deal with this is by characterizing all of the possible solutions to the problem, and then astronomers can apply their own uh, functions to search for something in that space of possibilities. Now, the applications of a technique like this could range beyond astronomy alone. Uh, a variety of other images can be modeled this way, including actually x-rays, which are absorption of light sent through a material rather than emission of light by the material. But we can do a mathematical transformation to account for that.